I'm Eric Neal, and this is Beyond Borders. The Salton Sea, California's largest lake and home to a complex ecosystem, is a dying land, and worse, a ticking time bomb. As a result of the redirection of the Colorado River, the lake is shrinking at an alarming rate. This may unleash an environmental disaster the likes of which the surrounding area has never seen. For the lake acts as a shield against the toxic sediment that has been building up over the years from agricultural runoff. Measures have been proposed to protect the lake, but progress has been extremely slow and funds difficult to come by. All the while, the Salton Sea is drying up at an alarming rate. To preserve the lake and its fragile ecosystem would be a costly endeavor, but it may well thwart an environmental catastrophe and an even more expensive cleanup. Nearly 4,000 people reside in the Salton Sea area, yet it is something of a ghost town, a stark contrast to its heyday as a lake resort community. The local population suffers from a number of health problems that can be attributed to years of constant pollution, such as severe asthma and other serious respiratory ailments. The lake is also home to over 400 species of migrating birds and is one of the last remaining wetlands in the area. However, as the human footprint expands into these areas, the natural world contracts, and there is nowhere left for many of these species to go. This in turn reverberates through the whole ecosystem and can threaten its ultimate destruction. The Pacific Southwest is littered with scores of ghost towns that pushed a fragile ecosystem to the point of collapse. Here is truly a miracle in the desert. A whole new outlet for the crowded millions in big cities. A Palm Springs with water. Here is where you can find the good life in the sun. Today, the Salton Riviera, beside the blue Salton Sea, is the place for you to take charge of your future. You can come as you are, no reservations required. Enjoy life at the Riviera. The Salton Sea Basin has historically been in constant flux. Periodic flooding from the Colorado River occurred for hundreds of years, resulting in wetlands capable of supporting an intricate and diverse ecosystem, even in the middle of a parched desert. By the turn of the 20th century, humans intervened by redirecting the Colorado River for irrigation purposes. After a series of levees burst in 1904 and 1905, the water flooded the Salton Basin and the Salton Sea was born. Since the Colorado River no longer feeds the lake, as it is once again redirected to quench the thirst of the ever-expanding communities, only a trickle of toxic agricultural runoff supplies the Salton Sea. Now, all that stands in the way of a toxic cloud being blown south through the Imperial Valley is this accidental sea. As water evaporates from the lake at a rate of one foot per year, its salinity increases. Currently, the Salton Sea salinity is twice that of the ocean. When a certain threshold is reached, the lake will no longer be able to sustain life, and all that will be left are the skeletons littering the toxic shores of a once thriving ecosystem. The Salton Basin is a dying land and is poised to trigger a much larger environmental calamity, which could not only destroy the local natural habitats, but utterly lay to waste the agricultural community of the whole Imperial Valley. 
The Salton Sea connects the natural world with the economic and is an issue that resonates far beyond the basin. The modern lake was created by human impact and the looming ecological disaster will likely be a result of human development. Whether they realize it or not, residents of the Southwest are connected to the lake and to the fate of its other inhabitants. If the lake disappears, both the ecology and the economy of Southern California will be forever altered. So in the near future, every Californian will be faced with this question. Is preserving the Salton Sea a worthy investment?